I know what you're thinking. Hasn't this girl talked about ClassPass enough? Apparently not. Since so many people have recently joined ClassPass due to the free month that they've been offering, New Year's resolutions, I decided to really milk it for all it's worth and give you guys a few additional facts. Personally, I have been trying to be a lot more cognizant about how I'm using my credits, what studios I'm using my credits at, and honestly, I'm just trying to figure out when it's appropriate to use ClassPass and when I can really support the studios that I know and love. So today I've got five rules of thumb for you to use when you're deciding if you should book through ClassPass or directly through the studio. So my main gripe with ClassPass is the low payout rate that they have for most studios, but the high number of spots that they have that they can fill with ClassPass members. Honestly, I really am trying to reevaluate how I use my current ClassPass account because even though I can totally book a class at a small studio for only three credits, that is an amazing deal, but I know in my heart that that is hurting the studio because they are probably making $5 off of my booking when the class is usually between $25 to $30. And with that, I've actually taken the spot away from somebody who could have booked directly through the studio and gotten them some more money. I'm fully aware that like, $25 to $30 for a class is expensive, but honestly, that is the world that we live in. Owning a studio, especially if we're talking about New York City, the rent is very expensive. It costs a lot to keep the lights on, costs a lot to have quality instructors. So if you are not willing to pay a lot of money for quality instruction, that's another video because I have big opinions on that. Now the times that I don't feel very bad booking through ClassPass are for these big mega nationwide studios, places like Barry's, Rumble, SLT, all of these studios that have huge followings, they have huge locations, and to be honest, I don't really think that ClassPass is hurting them very much. Let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong, but it seems like they're doing just fine, so they can deal with my ClassPass booking. Also, I will say a lot of times these are premium spots, so typically you'll see these classes are running for like 16 to 22 credits, which I think is absolutely ridiculous, but that just goes to show that they are most likely making more from ClassPass in their payout when people do book through ClassPass to take their classes. All of that like just doesn't even seem right to me, but anyway. All right, so like I said, I understand it is very expensive to go to boutique fitness studios, and I do not blame people for joining ClassPass. Again, I'm on ClassPass. So ClassPass really has made it affordable for people at whatever income, whatever price point they're looking for to actually get into these high quality studios. But if your studio is having like a sale or a deal going on every once in a while, I just say throw them a bone, buy directly through the studio. I'm just saying, I think it's very important to understand where your money is going and us as consumers, we do have a lot of input based on where we spend our money. So if we are constantly spending our money at places that are ripping off small businesses, I just think it says a lot not about us. And again, I know that it is very, very tough to maneuver spending money, how expensive things are, but I think that every once in a while if you can like give your studio some money directly, I just think that it goes a long way in the long run. And I personally feel that this kind of in-between rule of using ClassPass in between sales or promotions is a really great way to kind of find that balance and peace of mind. I feel like I didn't explain that very well, but I like to think of money as like a vote for what you want. So uh, a great example is beauty products. So if you want more like vegan, non-toxic, doesn't test on animals, natural beauty products, but you're constantly buying from Rite Aid, like the cheapest L'Oreal that you can on sale, that's never gonna happen. So your money is a vote for what you value and what you want. So if you want small businesses to thrive, you gotta spend your money there. Um, that's all I was trying to say, goodbye. Now this one does kind of tie in with number one, but gym time. Most of the gyms on ClassPass are huge, 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 huge. And again, it's not like you are going in and taking up a spot from a paying member. You know, you're going in and you are probably running on the treadmill and lifting a few free weights for an hour or so. So I think that booking gym time is like never really an issue. And like, to be honest, this is one of the reasons why I even stay on ClassPass because one credit gym time at Crunch is like, really a good deal. <laughs> 
Something that's great that a lot of boutique studios offer are intro deals. So whether it's two for one, 50% off, whatever it is, it's usually a really, really great deal. Now let's say a studio does not have an intro deal, but you wanna test out the method first, you wanna see if you actually like the studio. Personally, I think it's fine to book through ClassPass if that's the case. You know, there have definitely been studios that I've gone to where I have booked through ClassPass and I was very glad that I did not directly give that studio all of my money because it was terrible. So I think using ClassPass when you are going for the first time to see if you really vibe with the studio is totally an option unless they do have an intro deal because at the end of the day, you're gonna lose out on that intro deal if you do book through ClassPass and a lot of times it is actually a better deal. Do your research, see what the studio offers and then decide from there. All right, so this one, this was me. I joined ClassPass because I didn't know what I liked. I had never really like gone into the world of fitness before and I grew up with a dance background, so I always thought, okay, so my workouts that I'm gonna like are dance cardio and bar. Turns out, I don't really like either of those. Side note, I know that I teach both of those, but like taking class and teaching class are two very different enjoyments in my opinion. Let's keep going. So the moment that I joined ClassPass and I started testing out different types of workouts and then I picked up a weight that was heavier than three pounds and I literally was like, oh, this is what I like. But I never would have known that without joining ClassPass. So I always say to people, if you have no idea what you enjoy, join ClassPass because it's gonna give you a lot of freedom to test out different things and figure out what clicks with you. Now I will say, I think that once you figure out what you like, you figure out what studios you really love, kind of reevaluate, see where your finances are, can you spend the money to go directly through the studio, do you need to go back to that in-between rule that I mentioned? Because again, I think it is very important for us as consumers to understand that where we put our money does matter. So I hope this video gives you a little bit more context about ClassPass in general. You know, I really do not look down upon anybody who uses ClassPass or books classes through ClassPass because New York City is really expensive. It's really expensive, guys. But again, I've said it multiple times in the video, I do think it is very important to understand that you are in control of who gets your money, where it gets spent, and I think that it's very important to value where your money is going. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any content, and I will see you all soon.